Hi guys, and here is the second episode of The Component, and today we're just going to talk about how to install DDR RAM onto your motherboard, so <laughs> let's get, begin. So here guys, we have the motherboard with the RAM slots pre-installed, so if you do not know what RAM is right now, this is probably not the best if, um, show to watch right now, because... Um, well, if you're wanting to install RAM, you're probably knowing, got to know why you need to install it. So, right now, um, if you don't know anything about memory or desktop memory, just look up a couple of YouTube videos. Um, Linus Tech Tips, Tech Syndicate, stuff like that. Um, Tech Quickie, um, NCA, NCAX, stuff, YouTube videos like that. But um, So, if you don't know anything about RAM, I'd highly suggest you just go and go on the internet and look up something about it but if you're here to uh, want to know and you're wanting to know sorry bad England how to install a RAM module such as this DDR stick I think this might be a DDR1 or DDR2 it's one of the one of one of them anyways uh, we're just going to show you how to install um, one of the RAM modules from the DDR lineup Pretty much it's the same for any desktop memory. When I mean memory, I mean RAM. So, let's begin. The reason I'm using uh, an old stick, well, using old sticks of RAM is because I don't have any DDR3 currently available because it's mainly used in my new systems. So I'm just going to bring back, oh, sorry about that, the old motherboard that we used for the first episode of the component just to show you how, how to install an Intel Sandy Bridge CPU. So if you want to go ahead and watch that, you can. But in this episode, we're just going to show you how to install RAM. So uh, here, when you've got hold of your RAM modules, you'll notice um, it's different for different variants of RAM. But you'll notice a notch here. Uh, some RAM modules have two notches if you're using older RAM. Some may only have one, uh, it really depends, but in this one it only has one, and the newer versions should only have one uh, notch, that little hole there. Let's see if we can just zoom out a little bit, no, that's it. So, um, and with that notch you're supposed to align it to the notch on your slot, and if you do not know what a memory or RAM slot looks like, here's two examples here. Um, these are DDR, like I said, I don't know which one, DDR1 or DDR2 slots, and because I can't be bothered looking it up to be honest, but um, here are the two slots here, and they've got two tabs. These tabs go in and they go out. That's the only two ways they can actually move. So exciting. But RAM is probably one of the easiest ways to, well, easiest ways, easiest thing to install in your um, computer. So first of all, when you've got your um, memory modules, just bring them out to the side. Like that, like so simple. Um, I'm just gonna readjust the camera angle so you can see that a little bit better, and uh, I'll show you how to install the actual RAM modules now. So now I have readjusted the camera, and I will show you how to install a RAM module. So, as you can see right there, there is a notch, it's exactly like in the CPU. There is a notch that indicates where everything should go, because if it doesn't fit the way the notch, then it's kind of obvious, like it won't fit. So I'm just going to bring up the motherboard close to the camera and as you may or may not see if it focuses there is a slight notch there. Let's see if I can bring that in the light, there we go. And you just want to line that in the notch onto your RAM. So, so there it is there. Um, first things first, open up your tabs four, and just make sure the notch is aligned. Place it within the slot like so, and push down with equal pressure, don't be afraid, just put, push down with equal pressure, and there you go. And the clips should lock in by themselves, if they don't and it's down, just push them in, but they should clip in by themselves if you've got a newer motherboard, some older ones don't, as of a, or if the tab itself has been broken, but these should automatically click into place. I'm just going to do the same thing with the other one, bring the camera back in so you guys can see, I'm just going to line the notch to the notch on the motherboard. 
so that's not the way, this is the way here and open up the tabs slide it in presto and as you can see RAM modules have fitted in and they don't tend to move and this is probably the easiest part in building a PC uh, to be honest uh, I hope you like the video uh, the next video will be I think I'll do a video on backing storage such as hard drives, SSDs, stuff like that, and CD drives, and just some basic peripherals that use the interface SATA and IDE, MSA, stuff like that. So until then, um, this has been your co-host Fabrizio, and this is the component two, I believe. We'll be just continuing the component series and the terahertz series. As you know, I will link a video here with the terahertz, the first terahertz, and I'll link a video down here somewhere with uh, the video for the first component. So, I'll see you later guys. Bye.